So you've come to visit this old dragon at last. You'll have to forgive my appearance. I've been asleep for thousands of years. <laughs> Going so soon? Please, stay a while. After all, we need to catch up on all the hot gossip. <laughs> and scene. Hello, I'm motion capture performer Matthew P.J. Wimworth. And that was a scene from the 2007 film, Dragon's Lair, Lair of Dragons. <laughs> Merriam-Webster's online defines motion capture as the word you've entered isn't in the dictionary. <laughs> and that's just so telling. Yes, the suit may look silly, and the performance may be upsetting when viewed raw. But what traditional actor can say they're having a movie being built around their bear impression? Hmm? <laughs> 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 No one, that's who. Don't get me wrong, Meryl Streep's fine. Daniel Day-Lewis has some interesting qualities. But I'd like to see either one of them come close to the humanity I achieved as secret agent dog Jack Spaniel. Here's a snippet from 2012's Jack Spaniel Sit, Stay, Kill. I must say, Mrs. Dorte, you're rather fetching for a greyhound. I like you quite a bit. <laughs> and scene. Hi, my name's Zeke. I'm the star of the Disney Channel original series Zeke with a beak. I'm just your average 13 year old, but I'm slowly turning into a bird. <laughs> my family just moved here from the Midwest. Between my mom, dad, and little sister, life can get pretty crazy. But not as crazy as the fact that, within the year, I'll be a full-on bird. <laughs> Those are my two best friends. Their names are Tristan and Nash. I know no matter what happens, they'll always have me. <laughs> Seven, six central, only on Disney. Specials tonight are a pan-seared salmon in a bolognese sauce. It is, and that is served with a side of roasted asparagus that has just a drizzle of olive oil and a sprinkling of lemon zest, the combination of which is. Can I get us started on anything this evening? An appetizer or cocktail, perhaps? <laughs> anything that's cooked in peanut oil is denoted on the menu there, but just as an extra safety precaution, I'll be sure to let the kitchen... What are you doing? <laughs> I am at work right now. <laughs> Get out of here. But just as an extra safety precaution, I'll be sure to let the kitchen know. Cocktails, how are we feeling? A Mai Tai, great. An old fat... Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you trying to get me fired? <laughs> I am on break in 20 minutes. I will handle you then. Okay, a uh, Mai Tai, old fashioned, and how are we feeling on food? Are we ready to order? Do we still nipple? Okay, well, I'll be right back with those cocktails and a basket of our signature focaccia bread. It is absolutely. <laughs> yeah.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Thursday night here at Neon Nightclub, and that means only one thing, marionette puppet night. Make room on the dance floor for our guest of honor, a marionette puppet. Theater patrons, we understand the stage has been empty for about a minute. We apologize for that. Just sit tight and have the next character set out there in a moment. Thanks. So I, uh, I know the, the last couple years, haven't been awesome for everybody, but I'm actually doing pretty good. <laughs> I, uh, I own a tent rental company specializing in long-term tent rentals, which prior to 2020 wasn't much of a market. Everybody wanted a tent for short, like a wedding or what have you. But then there was this outdoor dining, everything. I started doing pretty good. <laughs> I made uh, 40, $42 million, <laughs> so I bought a boat. <laughs> Darling, would you mind trotting around the corner to that specialty market? Oh, what's the name of it? The 7 Eleven. Oh, and darling, whilst you're there, ask the bartender, Javier, if he wouldn't mind whipping up one of those specialty mocktails he makes just for me. He calls it something flirtatious. A slow pay, I believe. <laughs> oh, and darling, ask Javier if he has any more of those petite bottles of the Sutter Home White Zinfandel. Oh, I do love a small batch production vineyard. <laughs> Darling, lastly, ask Javier if he wouldn't mind pulling some of those petite beef wellingtons they have on the rotating curling irons, the taquitos. And don't worry about the price, darling. I'm rich. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is everybody here? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Goat. <laughs> I'm gonna be your guide out there on the river today. Now these are class three rapids, but they've been riding a lot more like a class six, even a class seven this summer. <laughs> now when I say go, paddle, paddle, go, I need you to paddle, paddle, paddle hard as you can over on that right hand side like your life depends on it, because it will. When I say paddle, go, 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 I need you to paddle, paddle, paddle hard as you can on the left. In the likely event one of you does get ejaculated from the raft today, <laughs> you're on your own. At that point, I want you to think about your body as a life raft. Your arms and legs, those are now the paddles in your head. That's the passenger you're trying to protect. In the event that passenger does get ejaculated from the raft, at that point, what I am describing is decapitation. Now, you guys are welcome to drink, smoke, whatever on the river. Just make sure you share with goat. <laughs> Uh, uh, you guys, you guys don't actually need to take any pictures of me. Uh, I'm a squirrel, so I'm not actually part of the zoo. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I do live here. Like, I can use all the amenities and everything, but <laughs> I'm not, like, confined to a habitat. <laughs> yeah, make sure you see the prairie dogs, though. So cute. <laughs> Okay, well, if you need me, I will be in the orangutan enclosure, just getting hacky-sacked around. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. No, okay, if we do this now, it'll take two seconds, okay? You've been home, what, 48 hours, and you have peanut butter up here? You shouldn't be eating in bed, Kira. It's sad. <laughs> oh, Kira, oh, your swimming award. Oh, you used to be such a winner. <laughs> pills on the f No, Kira, do you know why I don't want your sex supplements on the ground? Because the dog is going to eat them, and then what? He'll gain 20 pounds of booty weight and be snippy toe. <laughs> Don't get on that plane back to America. I know, I know, I know, I'm being crazy. Cuckoo Caspar right now, I know, but these last two weeks have been the most romantic of my life, Patrick. Ah, come on, you feel it too, I know you do. I am in love with you, and I know this is just a, a, an holiday to Paris for you, but I have fallen in love. That is why I, I ran through the airport to catch you before you barred. <laughs> Just like they do in all the American movies. I huh? like you, huh? You know? Oh, come on, Patrick, please, please. I, uh, I, I. I just have to let you know that. Okay, we get it. Thank you. Final bargain call. Thank you. Jean Claude. <laughs> I did not know that you worked at the airport, no. <laughs> God, Jean Claude, I miss you too. <laughs> I'm sorry, Patrick, but uh, Jean Claude and I have history, so, uh, you know. Okay, well, safe travels back to Wisconsin. Uh, go Green Bay Packers, huh? Oui? Jean Claude, Barbados? <laughs> Brilliant! Absolutely.
absolute jolly good fun, yeah? A classic Sunday lunch with all my good old school chums. Ah, oh, brilliant, yes. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. Mm? Oh, yes, yes, we probably should do another ski trip. Yes, I do <laughs> think so, absolutely. The French Alps beckon, don't they? Yes. Uh, what? Oh, well, no, don't Harold me. Oh, for God's sake. I only ski in Maribel. If you all keep skiing in Courchevel, you're never going to see me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Elizabeth. Yes, I do ski. I do ski. How dare you? How are you insinuating, Elizabeth? Hmm? Are you insinuating I don't know how to ski? I ski. I ski. Good Lord, I ski. Oh, Andrew, for God's sake. You're my oldest school chum. I ski! I ski! Oh, for, I never proved it to you the other day. I was trimming and sharpening my ski poles. Oh, for God's sake! I, I ski! Charles, I ski! I ski! Oh, for God's sake! Oh, Penelope, get off your horse! I ski! I bloody ski! Oh, for God's sake! I ski! I ski! I ski! I bloody ski! Hell! Hell, hell, hell to all of you! I bloody fucking ski! Oh, I am mortified it in my own home, God damn it! I ski! Dude, it's me, it's Freydin, your trainer from Equinox, dude. Oh, no. oh, yeah, you're in the hospital, yeah, man. Oh, no, no, don't, don't try to speak, dude, because uh, you were bench pressing and you, uh, you dropped that on your neck and it's crushed, dude. It's crushed, bro. The doc says you might not speak again, but what you did also crush is, dude, you crushed your 180 bench press goal. What's up, dude? Nice. Sick, bro, bro. Yeah, I'm speaking of, dude. Um, is there any chance maybe you go ahead and just sign this waiver so I don't get sued? Bro, oh, that'd be super dope. Just go ahead and sign it. I know, dude. I was trying to like focus on you, and I know it's like my responsibility, but sometimes I get distracted by like other weights, you know, like the the weight of the world, bro. <laughs> it's so intense. But um, can I go ahead and just get that signature? You can just go ahead and sign right there for me. Oh, sure, no, I can help you. There we go, bro. Nice. Oh, that's sick, dude. <laughs> Nice, all right, okay, well, I will see you uh, for Tuesday for leg day, dude. Nice, bye. <laughs> oh my God, oh, me? Oh, no, 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 oh no, no, I haven't been in the office. No, no, I'm on a sabbatical. <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh, it's been incredible. It's been, oh gosh, what has Chris been up to? Um, <laughs> let me see, well, you know, it's been great because I've had the opportunity to look down the barrel of life and say, you go for it, Chris. <laughs> So, you know, I've been taking classes. I've been educating myself. You know, I'm, I'm learning how to do pottery and sing and dance. And I've also been teaching myself how to knit. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm really, I'm not that good, no. But, you know, this turned out well. So, <laughs> I know, I know. But, you know, it's interesting, Carol. I've also been taking um, a master class in interior design online. Turns out I have a natural gift for uh, space and color. And although, Carol, this room is very uh, bold, <laughs> choices, um, I am noticing, I'm noticing the acoustics in this room. And oh my god, Carol, this is stunning. You know, I almost feel, um, god, I feel inspired to. <laughs> And I don't want to miss a thing Cause even when it's red, it's red. Oh, oh, no, 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 Carol, this is not a duet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, I knew it was going to Hi, the name's Charles Jawbone Jenkins. You might recognize me for my philanthropy, my many films, 
and my jazz music. <laughs> but what you might not know is I made history by being the first nigga to suck dick. <laughs> That's right. Without me, niggas wouldn't know it's all right to suck dick. <laughs> the more you know, being doom, being doom. <laughs> What's up, Montreal? Get hype, get hype, get hype. Poutine, poutine. <laughs> anyway, y'all, my name's DJ Tackless. And I come from the dope, dope city of Detroit, pronounced they twi if you're fancy. <laughs> Detroit's the home of Motown music, the birthplace of Big Sean and Lizzo, and the home of the Coney Dog, the only hot dog guaranteed to keep you regular. Ooh wee. <laughs> but tonight, backstage, I bought with me one of the coldest rappers on my record label, all right? Make some noise if you're ready to hear one of the coldest rappers on my record label. Oh. I said, make some noise if you're ready to hear one of the coldest rappers to ever do it. This show's not happening until I get some noise. <laughs> He's not coming out until I get some noise. Can I get some noise? Can I get some noise? Can I get some noise? Let me get some noise. What y'all trying to do to me? <laughs> you trying to break my hype man spirit? <laughs> Let me tell you something. You don't get where I got without already being a little broken. Can I get some noise? <laughs> sorry, I'm late, sorry, I'm late with the bus boycott. It's hard to get around. <laughs> I am Reverend Donnell Jones, and it's with great privilege that Reverend Dr. King asked me to come here and speak to you all this evening. Because if there's one thing I'm most passionate about, it's the empowerment of black people. Where are my black folk at? awfully quiet in here. Um, <laughs> turn up the lights so I can see my beautiful black people. <laughs> this ain't the church, it's a goddamn Klan rally. Oh my God. God, all these white people, so many whites. There's mayonnaise white in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, read, pivot, pivot. Well, we've all said some things, right? <laughs> But there's one thing we can all agree on, right? And that's that God is good, okay? So every head bowed and every eye closed. Dear Lord. I'm always said that I, what? My butt? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. But they're noticing, they're noticing. All those squats before bedtime prayer, they're finally paying off. What do you mean? That's like our fifth compliment today. I think it's time we leave this small town of Op, Alabama, population one black. I don't know, make some of ourselves, be an underwear model, learn how to twerk for TikTok. And only fans. Look, I just can't be content being contained, stacking containers in this container store. <laughs> There's gotta be more for me out there. That's where you're wrong, but I got a gift, and I'll be damned if I don't use it. Oh. <laughs> what the? Let me go, but. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let me go! Let me go! Let me go, man! Let me go, man! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go, man! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go, man! Let me go, man! Let me go! All right, fine, you win, I'll stay. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to Cartoon Network. Sugar, spice, and then I accidentally dropped a hot dog in there. Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born. Chicago dog. <laughs> and if I, if I told you to mustard, it wouldn't make sense. Look, just because I'm a hot dog doesn't make me any less of a Powerpuff Girl than my sisters. Because I think we're all the same. You know, deep down, we are all just emulsified meat trimmings of chicken, beef, pork, <laughs> My brain is 50% hot dog. <laughs> Attention, ladies and gentlemen. This woman here brought a full water bottle and a carry-on luggage. <laughs> Screw her. Ma'am, I now have no choice but to roast you. <laughs> Attention, ladies and gentlemen, who wears flip-flops through airport security? Someone with a foot fetish, that's who. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say foot fetish? I meant foot fungus because girl, what are those? Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, she wore pajama bottoms to the airport. Any guesses as to what airline she's on? I'll give you a hint, it starts with S. Ends an ear at its spirit airline, she's trash. <laughs> God, but going after through airport security ain't all it's cracked up to be. You know, you gotta go through that x-ray and uh, you all met my ex, right? He's the one man in the machines! <laughs> Can I get a hell yeah? hell yeah! Oh God, ladies and gentlemen, she also brought a laptop in a carry-on luggage. And ma'am, I am disappointed. Not only because it's an electronic larger than what? A cell phone, but because it's a Lenovo! <laughs> Attention, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a Lenovo in your carry on luggage, be sure to dump it out in the garbage before going through security. <laughs> All right, you're good. Go. Next. <laughs> Racism, sexism, and xenophobia. Let's start a conversation. 
I can cure racism with a smile. I can fix cancer with a hug. I can fix systemic oppression. I can get high without drugs. Yeah, yeah. I need your help. I, Kamala Harris. <laughs> I, Kamala Harris, am at the center of a national, okay, emergency. You know, the molecule musher used on Barack Obama and a tub of mayonnaise, you know, to create Beto O'Rourke. Right. Well, that same molecule musher was used on me, Kamala. <laughs> and my famous friends. So now we all share my body. Okay, I'll show you. Oh, Elmo! Elmo! <laughs> Hi, Carmela! Emma right here! Emma has fur <laughs> and his nose. <laughs> and, oh, oh, Carmela. Carmela, is this your mustache? What? No, I don't have a. Oh, my God. Um, hi, hi, I'm Bob Berger. Ugh. I mean Belcher. Sorry, I'm not all here, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> also in the body we have Oprah. <laughs> were our molecules mush or were our molecules mushed? <laughs> that is a good, okay. Question. Look, senators, I need your help. If one of these fools takes over, if Joe croaks, I just can't. I'm Wanda Sykes, and you know, I didn't have anything prepared for this, but it ain't my first rodeo. I've been inside a woman's body before. <laughs> oh! Babysitter's Club Melinda's mom here, and I couldn't help but overhear that you needed some advice. Well, shit, I'm great at giving advice to tween girls. So, divorce, huh? I've been there a time or two, or five. Yeah, you know, me and my first ex were, oh, shit, my brows are still bleeding, huh? <laughs> I just got them tatted. Expensive being a lady, ain't it? <laughs> anyway, the year's 2005. I'm in the witness protection program running an unlicensed Chuck E. Cheese in the Italian parts of Boston. You know, I'm dressed as that sick chicken playing guitar in the animatronic jamboree when there in the front row was a stallion of a man, a P.I., a portly Italian. <laughs> Yeah, but in the end, I had to break it off. And sometimes that happens with parents. And it ain't your fault, little girl. You just got to remember to have fun. You know, like that one time I hooked up with either Mitt Romney or Rupert Grint. <laughs> the Jesus tap makes me think it was Mitt Romney. But the pagan... <laughs> the pagan makes me think it was Mitt Romney. Good evening. 
My name is Waggleleth the Defiler. I'm seven foot nine, and I'm here to audition to be your sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> I'm between agents right now, but I've wanted to be a boogeyman since I was a boogie boy. <laughs> I'm not a dancer per se, but I do consider myself a nightmare who moves. <laughs> and as you can tell from my hat, I'm certified under the Babadook method. <laughs> also, I'm a baritone, well, tenor on a good day. And I will be singing, I love a piano from Irving Berlin's Easter Parade. Music cue, please. I love a piano, I love a piano, I love to hear the music play. I got a rolla, 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 to hear the long-haired genius play. So you can keep your fiddle and your bow, give me a P-I-A-N-O, ho, ho. I love to stop right, it brought it up right, or a high tone baby grand. Thank you so much, I'll be in the closet. Oda, Oda. Yeah, good morning. High Court of Salem, Massachusetts. Most of y'all know me, I'm Goody Renee. And uh, I'm not here to accuse these ladies of being witches. But I am here to accuse them of being fake ass friends. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah, let's start with you, Martha Putnam. Oh, oh, you saw me dance with the devil in the woods? Well, I saw you do a whole lot more than that with him at O'Flaherty's Bar and Grill last Thursday. <laughs> oh yeah, here's me praying my baby survives the winter. Here's Martha, ass out by the butter churn, showing a tramp stamp of the Prince of Darkness. Oh, who's next? Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I don't think so, Mary Warren. Oh, I sent a yellow bird to torture you? The only bird I'm sending is this one. You know what he says? Twiddly dee dee dee, F you. <laughs> Watch out. Mama's on a roll. Who's next? Who's next? How about you, Dorcas whore? <laughs> your name, your Christian name is Dorcas whore. I didn't curse you, your parents did. You burnt! <laughs> oh, we're having such a good time, we're having a ball. Come on, come on. Oh, hey there, John Proctor. <laughs> Listen, uh, I know you might not want to say your name, but I'll say your name anytime you like, you know what I mean? You want to see my Mayflower? I'm just kidding! I'm being fun. Hey, I'm gonna go get a coffee coolada from ye old Dunkin' Donuts. Anybody want anything from Dunkies before the hangings? <laughs> Everybody listen up. Welcome to 10th grade drama class. <laughs> I'm your instructor, Mr. Emile Dubrone, and let's just get this out of the way. Yes, I have a famous ex-boyfriend, and no, I will not say who. <laughs> All I will say is that he was in the film Little Miss Sunshine, and his name was Greg Kinnear. <laughs> Now, we have a lot to do today, so let's get started with a vocal warm-up. Everybody repeat after me. I am meat. Come on, you're not Russell Crowe and Les Mis. I actually want to hear you. I am meat. I am meat. But I am art. But I am art. And I am not ashamed, Dad. <laughs> no, no, that, no, no, that one was just for me. Now. What is theater, hmm? <laughs> theater is dead. <laughs> and all of you killed it. <laughs> With your Hulus and your TikToks. But this season, we will be bringing it back to life. 
The Fang Show will be a kabuki piece exploring the themes of loss and time in Lillian Hellman's The Children's Hour. The Spring Show will be Shrek. Now, I have but three rules in this class. One, there are no small parts, only slightly smaller parts for those of you I deem untalented. Two, <laughs> if your monologue is from a monologue book, congratulations, you are a coward. <laughs> and three, I love each and every one of you. <laughs> and it would be impossible for me to grade your craft. Which is why I'm going to give everybody a B. <laughs> Hello, Gregory. My name is Dr. Trope. I'm a therapist. That's a big person word, which means I'm just here to listen to you. Maybe about this monster you've been seeing. Tell me, is the monster here in the room with us right now? Does the monster tell you to do things? Do you not want to talk about the monster? All right, that's fine, Gregory, that's fine. Your mother tells me you're a very talented artist. Maybe you could draw me the monster. Are you drawing the monster right now? Why don't you show me what this monster looks like? Okay. Okay, so Gregory, that is what appears to be a chair. Yes, just a chair. We, we sit in those. You're sitting in one right now. Oh, no, no, no. No need to be afraid. It's an inanimate object. It can't hurt you. Oh, sorry. I think actually I, I meant to show you this one. What am I looking at here, Greg? Uh, the monster down in. Okay. I'll be honest. I was a little distracted by the owl with gigantic human breasts you've drawn in the forefront. It made the focus a little unclear. Oh, yeah. I guess I can see how that would be confusing. Um, what about, what about this one? Nope. No monster in that one. This time the chair has breasts. Oh, oh, I think I meant this one. <laughs> okay, that is the monster, but now the monster has breasts. Oh, now I see. Um, about... Now the monster's breasts are owls. Now the owl's breasts are chairs. Oh boy, I don't know what that one is. It's a hunky apple, and he's kissing a hunky pear because they have feelings. Ah, I see. I suppose I should have been able to figure that one out. I drew one more. It's of you. Gregory, why am I a ghost? Because you died at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> oh, that explains a lot. Yeah. So sorry to bother you. Take care. Can I just leave, or do I stay here? I... <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Andrew Farmer. because, oh, Dylan, wait. <laughs> Oops, I was saying something. <laughs> um, I just, no, it's cool. I mean, if you want to hike back down, I'm ready to hike back down. <laughs> I just thought maybe while we were up here enjoying the romantic view, maybe we'd want to have a little romantic moment or <laughs> maybe there'd be something you want to talk about or something, something you want to say, something you want to ask me or <laughs> something you want to say. There's just going to be a romantic moment up here. There's going to be a tripod somewhere set up to capture a romantic moment. I'm like, fucking bring Dylan! <laughs> <laughs> what is this then? A hike? Just a hike? For what? For who? <laughs> Dylan, uh, what is wrong with you? Were you like that guy from Saw on the tricycle? You're just like, how can I fuck with her? How can I ruin her life? <laughs> Dylan, I wore a celebration dress under this. <laughs> for you. <laughs> Dylan, imagine me walking down the aisle towards you. <laughs> Um. 
what was that? <laughs> um, I think I'm just hangry or something, but like, I am ready to hike back down when you are, my dude. <laughs> uh, white Frick Dylan, what are you doing? Yes, a thousand times yes, this is so unexpected! <laughs> All right, Miss Wolfbean, can you hear me in the booth there okay? I just want to say once again, it is a real honor to be working with you. All right, this is audio for Bluetooth speakers. Take one, whenever you're ready. Your device is hunyat. <laughs> Your device is this hunyat. <laughs> Do I smell pairing? <laughs> battery low! Could you try a second take of that word, battery? Oh, you want battery? All three syllables, battery, okay. Sure. <laughs> battery low! <laughs> A nerd who likes piss. Oh no, the bullies are coming. I hope they don't piss on me again. And here she is now, Ellen DeGeneres. to the very last episode of The Ellen Show. I am heartbroken, but also relieved because I can finally be honest with you all. I was gifted this show in 2004 by the Dark Lord. <laughs> in exchange for two things. One, that I would never cut, grow, or change my hair. And two, that anytime music plays, I would be supernaturally bound by the powers of hell to dance to it. It hurts a great deal. <laughs> and anytime I try to stop dancing, my legs begin to bleed underneath my pants, and, 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 and well, my wife Portia gains weight, which I hate. <laughs> but the good news is, the Dark Lord has offered me freedom from the curse on this last occurrence of my show if I donate all of my earnings and send 40,000 teenagers to college. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do it. The American Psychology Association presents the transformation of a female subject before and after a wine tasting. Hi, what a stunning vineyard. Uh, excuse me, may I ask for a spittoon bucket? I'd like to keep my wits about me. Out of respect for the grape. I lost my hat. Excuse me, sir, can I have my hat? My hat got, my hat got blown away into grippers. Hey. 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 I have a husband, but you can kiss me if you want. <laughs> Oh, shit. Me and Drake go all 
But for right now, I need all of y'all to get up on your seat and make some noise for Drake! <laughs> okay, one more time. Make some noise for Drake! Got a little bit of a update. <laughs> okay, Drake got sick off some bad clams and will not be here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, relax, relax. You guys are some good people. You deserve a good show, so I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> you know, it turns out I have actually been working on some rhymes of my own. <laughs> and uh, tonight, you're gonna get a little taste of my debut mixtape all about Henry. <laughs> okay, uh, DJ, uh, drop that shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, what up, you little buster? I just made a sandwich and put on some mustard. Maybe we can get dessert and eat a little custard. Oops, I made a mess, somebody get the dust buster. Yeah. My favorite snack, that's a pecan cluster. It's not dope. I would say it has luster. Sometimes I'm cool, sometimes I get luster. I'm not a playboy, I'm a mother freaking hustler. My favorite movie, you guessed it, Ghostbusters. Yeah. First one that I ever picked out at Blockbuster. I may look old, but I swear, I'm a youngster. This ain't a TED talk, and it's not a filibuster. No. In high school, my favorite band was Guster. My mama said I'm talented, and I trust her. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's everybody going? Okay. Okay, just hit me up on SoundCloud then. <laughs> oh, what's up, bitch? <laughs> you already know what it is. I'm the Instagram version of you. <laughs> and I heard some bullshit about how you're planning to delete your account so you can make real friends in real life? Big mistake, baby. Let me remind you. I'm the greatest version of you, bitch. <laughs> Let's be real. I know you spend every weekend alone, but because of me, everybody thinks your life is a non-stop motherfucking party <laughs> filled with brunch, sunsets, nephews, Latte art, <laughs> stolen memes, and sexy selfies where you're really just trying to show off how hot you are. But the caption is something completely unrelated, like, racism is cringe. <laughs> That's what people want to see. Exhibit A. Here's a pic of me licking on an ice cream cone. <laughs> 21 likes, four comments, and you know I'm looking. TFC, two. Fucking cute guy. Damn, this pick is hot fire. Also, the first comment is from your crush, Stephanie, who wrote, LOL, save some for me. <laughs> Do you think Stephanie would ever say that to you in real life? Um, do do do, no. <laughs> Do 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 never bitch. <laughs> so the choice is yours. Do you want to be a lame ass, forgettable nobody? Or do you want to unlock your potential and be a goddamn star? Because without me, your life ain't shit. <laughs> you stupid bitch. <laughs> Welcome. 
welcome to the first annual South Asian Actors Roundtable. Why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Hey, Yamazee's on sorry. I don't know if you heard, but I got in trouble. And I had to do some deep thinking. In the middle of it, I had this quiet little thought. Oh no! <laughs> Don't do this to me! <laughs> please, 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 please! <laughs> then I disappeared, and everybody forgot it. Now I'm back, and it's so dumb! <laughs> Shout out to your bad memory. <laughs> hey, I'm Hassan Minaj! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! I hosted Patriot Act, which was like the Daily Show, but on the American Idol stage. <laughs> Real talk? The scarcity of Beanie Babies over the last 20 years has systematically led to the depression of millennials. And you're gonna say, Hassan! Come on, man, who cares? And I'll tell you what I told the white girl who broke my heart in 10th grade. <laughs> I care, girl. <laughs> That doesn't make sense. But let me break it down for you real quick with adult platitude. Realize, realize, realize. Don't think about it, that's woke. Hi, I'm Kumail Nanchiani, also known as the Pakistani dancer of Washington. Little joke. You see, I started doing comedy but I can't be seen with you people anymore because now I'm disturbingly ripped. I'm a certified sex symbol. And these abs are no joke. Dancing! I am! I am! Trust me! 
Excuse me, are you filming something in this theater? Oh, a TV show. <laughs> well, don't film me. I don't do anything interesting. at this all-you-can-eat buffet. I don't want him to see me with this plate full of biscuits. Well, he's with his girlfriend, his fiance. We're at their wedding. Everyone knows we snuck in. They're all pointing at that bag full of biscuits I stole. Oh, no. Things couldn't get any worse. Biscuit Barbara. <laughs> so, anyway, you were telling me. Uh, I know, there's a stain on my shirt. <laughs> Miss my mouth drinking coffee, wouldn't you know it? Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> so, anyway, it's, it's not distracting. It's no big deal. People care too much about how they look. There's other stuff going on in the world. There's a war. Hello. Who cares about my stain? Okay, fine. It's distracting. I'll wipe it off. <laughs> oh, I made it worse. All right. No big deal. I'll just get some soda water. <laughs> telling me your husband got arrested. Please keep the energy going. Give it up one more time for all the performers you saw tonight. Nick Mestad. Kiro Sullivan. Luke Millington Drake. Jordan Stafford, Allison Reese, Andrew Farmer, Lisa Gilroy, Sean Bag, and Anessa Frantowski. You've been an amazing audience. Give it up one final time for the 2022 class of JFL New Face of Characters. Thank you for coming out. Have a great night.